Hey guys, it's Bub here, and in this video we're taking a look at Chloride OS. In the comments of some of my previous videos, the Chloride OS developers have actually requested that I take a look at this. However, as a warning, that is all the interaction that I've had with the developers. I have not had any private emails, they have not influenced this review in any way, shape, or form. I am planning to be brutally honest with this review. So we're starting off here on their website because I do have a few nitpicks about their website. First of all, they link Atom OS, which appears to be by, I'm assuming is by the same developers. Um, I'm, I can't say for sure. Um, they link it right here. So it's kind of like pick one or the other because it appears they try to do the same thing, the lightest custom windows ever. And this is 35% better performance and lighter experience. So it's like almost the same thing. Scrolling down, we can see that there are two videos about Chloride OS 10 and Chloride OS 11. We'll be taking a look at Chloride OS 11. Here are some claims. Much better performance. Enjoy faster and stronger performance by more than 25%. Lighter than light. Get lighter than light windows without useless app location. That's not... Okay. And privacy and chloride. Completely get rid of Windows Defender. Um, if anything, that mm, is less privacy because you're getting rid of your antivirus and endpoint detection response. And if we need more than this, don't worry because there is a premium version with 70% more tools than free version and weekly updates just for $3. Yeah, less than your Espresso. Um, I don't necessarily agree with you having to pay for a custom Windows version. Uh, right here, as you can see, it says $3, but down here, the ultimate plan is $5. Um, and some of the stuff on here, optimizations, that's not even spelled right. Um, so definitely just off the website alone, it feels very fishy to me personally. I mean, some of this stuff could be lost in translation between languages, but some of it just seems really fishy to me. So let's say I want to go to price plans and I want to download the free plan. So I click download. The first thing is it doesn't even let me download Chloride OS. It makes me download Atom OS. That's its default. And then I would have to go to, let's see, Chloride OS 11 and then download for free. Uh, again, this is not grammatically correct or spelled right. And so we downloaded it for free. Then here's the other two premiums that need the tweaks ultimate plan. Of course, I'm not paying for this to take a look at this. We are going to take a look at the free version here today. All right, so let's go ahead and boot up this virtual machine and see what we're dealing with here today. So as we can see, it luckily they didn't change that logo right there. It is still the original Windows 11 logo, thankfully. Not a big fan of when developers end up changing that. So, so far everything looks like traditional Windows 11, and that's it. We're now installing Windows. All right, and here we are in the out-of-box experience. The first thing I notice is that the default background is like a darker, I can't, I can't actually tell what the background is because of the blur that gets applied, but it's really darker than what we typically see with Windows 11. It's that purplish blue white background, if you can't recall. Um, but I'm actually surprised an out-of-box experience is included because typically on these I custom ISOs It just jumps straight into the desktop All right, and it is now going to ask us to create an account So it does it does actually bypass the Microsoft requirements which are good or the Microsoft account requirements rather um, It does give us privacy settings um, and this should be the last thing it asks us before we get into the actual desktop itself. All right, and here we are inside of Chloride OS 23H2 Extreme Free Edition. As you can see, this background does have the Windows 11 kind of white theme background with, I believe that's a Chloride OS logo in the middle, but I am noticing that it is a low quality. Like I can, I can see the pixels. This is not a high resolution wallpaper. Um, in the taskbar, we can see we have our time notifications. We have, well, what's that? You must restart your computer to turn off user account control. Um, I don't know why user account control would need to be turned off. Um, as someone who works uh, primarily on securing networks, um, I, you know, the two things I've seen so far for security are that and the fact that Windows Defender is gone. And mm, I'm not exactly sure how I feel about that. Here we have our system tray. Um, that's actually the tray. By default, we have the Windows Store File Explorer, our task view, and our start menu. And over here, we do have our widgets, which do not appear to function. In the start menu, we have settings, file explorer, and may I just add, while I, I just noticed this, the taskbar theme, which is white, and the start menu theme, which is darker or black, do not line up at all. Like typically, these should be the same color, but they're not. 
we have settings, file explorer, and then in all apps, we have file explorer, getting started, Microsoft store, settings, terminal, Windows backup, Windows security, Windows speech recognition, and Windows tools. Um, typically what we see in these lighter weight ISOs. Going ahead into the task manager, we can see that we're using, because remember, this is supposed to be a lightweight distribution, 16, 10, you know, average CPU usage, nothing concerning there. But we're using 2.8 gigs out of 4 gigs of memory. I mean, for a lightweight OS, that is actually kind of high. Um, I think even for Windows 11, that's slightly high. As for, ta as for disk usage, we are whoa. <laughs> wow. Um, that is a lot. 38.1 out of 59.1 gigs. I mean, that is traditional what Windows 11 will usually use, but that is still 21 gigabytes of space. And as we can see, even there, the top of the window is all screwed up. Like, the colors are messed up. It's like a merge between a dark theme and a light theme, and it's, like, obviously it's not working too well. Um, let's open up this here. Uh, no really custom themes. I mean, that is a custom theme. That's a custom theme. And then here's your traditional Windows 11 themes. You know, the ones that actually do appear to fix the colors. And look, and now I think our colors colors are fixed now. That was a weird first install thing. I don't know what that was about. And then on the desktop, we have some folders that I do want to take a look at. We have Chloride Post Install with six subfolders, including Chloride Tools, which include Web Search, Windows Defender, Chloride Toolbox, Memory Cache Cleaner, Temp Files, and Uninstall Edge. We have installers for Brave, Files, Firefox, GitHub, and Chrome. What do these actually go to, though? Because I don't like just running a, fi a batch file that is supposedly just going to work. When get install Google.chrome. Okay, that might actually be legitimate. Other tools like Driver Booster, definitely not. RSDI, Windows Defender Remover, and WinRAR. Windows Super God Mode Main, wow, uh, I'm not even going to comment on that. Tweaks, I don't know what this is, what does this even do here? Um, do not redistribute my product, it is now HWID locked, and if your serial is duplicated on another PC, I have the right to pull your access to my product with no refund. You agreed to this in my TOS. Look, man, it's not that deep. It, it's really not that deep. You don't have to, that doesn't scare me at all. Um, I don't even know what this does. I really have no idea. But that first message just really put me off of this entire thing. That, you know. And then we have Project Chloride, which is just advertisement links. Moving down, we have Chloride Wallpapers, uh, including... Uh, well, there's a lot of chloride wallpapers here, but those aren't the chloride ones. These are kind of the default ones. Uh, Windows Photo Viewer can't print this picture because there's no printer. I'm not trying to print them. I'm just trying to open them. Uh, but I guess there's nothing to actually open these with. And then chloride OEM. Let's actually look at what this is doing before we actually do anything. Oh, so this will just set the OEM... This will just set the OEM status in the About page. Okay, so that's like if we were to go to this PC and then right click, or maybe you can't even, I don't even know how to do it anymore. Oh, it's actually in here, Settings, System, About. It would show the OEM status in here. Then we have Windows Update. We'll click Check for Updates. Uh, I'm assuming this is actually going to work. I'm wondering if we're not seeing the optimizations because we're, these scripts maybe didn't run, but uninstall Microsoft Edge is there, and we don't actually have Microsoft Edge. So I'm starting to think that some of this stuff actually did run, and that this is the full Chloride OS. Um, but yeah, this does not seem lightweight at all. There's a lot of things that I don't like about it from a security perspective, which from from a security perspective I would not recommend any custom ISO only use ones that you verified are from Microsoft even check the MD5 um, but regardless there's a lot of things about this that I really dislike so let me know what you think about this in the comments down below make sure to drop a like and subscribe if you're new around here as we do all kinds of different technology videos including device restorations and with that being said I'll see you all in the next one